The British looted nearly 45 trillion dollars from India. But this wasn't just because of the British crown. A private corporation was first responsible for the colonization and oppression of an entire subcontinent. We are talking about the East India Company, of course. But how did a company manage to bring down a country? Let's find out. The East India Company was established in the 1600s when a group of London merchants wanted a slice of the Asian spice trade. But Indian textiles, tea and opium would soon become their substances of choice. East India Company got approval from Jahangir to set up a factory in Surat in 1613 and never looked back. By the late 1700s, they had fought off other Europeans to secure valuable trading ports and dominate the global textile trade. As the Mughals declined, the company amassed a huge private army, built forts, grew their trade and waited for their chance. By 1765, they had won crucial battles and were collecting all revenues of super-rich Bengal and Bihar. Soon, they weren't traders, but a company with their own empire and 3 lakh soldiers, with a staff of just 160 in their London headquarters. They were the original business behemoths, but with no conscience or ethics. East India Company's tactics included outright war and looting, bribery and forging contracts, taxing starving families after instigating famines, selling Indian-grown opium to China forcibly and trading slaves. The company was dissolved by the British Crown after India's rebellion of 1857. For more such historically relevant stories, download the Novello app. Thank you.